today I'm going to take you on a drive to the end of Chicken Corners and we're going through Hurrah Pass. So fasten your seat belts, put on your sunglasses, here we go. So this is interesting. So this is Hurrah Pass. It goes down a little bit further that way. Over down there, you can see those blue ponds. Those are the potash fields. That's where they make potash fertilizer. So a year and a half or more ago it's been two years already i don't think i've had this i don't think i've had my fj for two years yet but uh one of my first trips when i got the fj i came down here and not being used to and comfortable with four-wheel driving getting to this point wore me out i mean it's a lot of rocky bumpy roads small cliffs I haven't even used two-wheel drive yet. I can't remember what I did back then. But uh, I got to this point, and I said, you know, enough's enough. <laughs> but now, skip forward a couple years, there's nothing getting here. I'm not worn out. I'm used to four-wheeling. Uh, so, we're going to go finish Hurrah Pass, which winds down that way over there down toward the river and then we get to a fork in the road and we go left for chicken corners or chicken corner or right for Jackson Hole I think I remember I think I remember this this is where the hiking part of the trail I say begins right about there. You could drive all the way up to there. You can see the road right there as it comes over here. It's kind of narrow and ledgy. Not a lot of room to turn around. But uh, when you're at the pass, if you go to the right, this is where you end up. Not a bad spot. Can you see my FJ? It looks so small from here. Man, this is totally random. I am one of the type of guys that will usually pick up trash off of the trail and take it back to the FJ and throw it away. But this is one of those, I forgot what it's called. Uh, I'll call it a schmata. It's one of those things that the uh, Orthodox, Hasidic, the seeds, uh, that they wear underneath. It's kind of like a, 
an undercoat but it looks like it's just a bib and they got those little tassel things that you can sometimes see it dangling underneath their shirts or whatever their suits but someone left that out here Okay, according to maps and GPS, we are almost to the end of the trail. Thelma and Louise Point is that way. We're going to have a better look at it from uh, the end of this trail. But yeah, we already went through Chicken Corner. That was lame. Uh, you gotta name it something, right? So this is it. About another 200 feet and there's a turnaround there. So I think we're going to go up there, turn around, just to say we did the whole trail. We are here. That over there. 
That's Thelma and Louise Point, by where those red rocks are uh, up there on the landing. Alright, this is the end of Chicken Corners. Cannot go any further than where my FJ is. I don't care if you're in a side-by-side, -side, a Razor, or on a GSX motorcycle. The road ends here. Now, this is the gooseneck of the Colorado River. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because we were on the other side last night at the gooseneck and the Colorado River overlooks. Those are somewheres over there. But a few kayakers still down there. They're just poking along. But river winds that way then it goes that way and it comes back on the other side of that rock formation that is the gooseneck oops don't want to slip and fall truck on the road over there so we're gonna go back the same way we came uh, exactly all the way back into Moab let's hydrate it's about 90 degrees and it is hot AF now there's supposed to be this fielders arch right around here and I don't think well, it could be but that's it right there a little hole in the rock but they're calling that an arch you can see and the road ends right here you can see a little pathway where people have walked yeah, if you want to walk around that corner maybe that's the chicken corner I'd be chicken to go around that corner I'd be chicken to get into that shade no actually that's not true because I went into the shade looking at this I'm wondering if that's the arch that fielder arch. Okay, I gotta, I gotta bust the balls of you jeepers with your open tops and your removable doors. Man, I got air conditioning. I shut all my doors, close all my windows. It's 96 degrees in Moab, and it's dusty AF. And I'm not dusty and dirty. I'm not having to wear a bandana over my mouth and goggles over my eyes, like the side-by-sides in the Jeepers are doing. Now, it might look cool with them doors removed and that uh, top off. In carpool lane when you're picking up your bratty little kids but look at that dust and this is on the back of the vehicle this is in the burble of the uh, wind guess where all that dust goes 
into your Jeep. I'm not saying I don't have dust in there, but I don't have it near like you do. You can have those removable tops. Give me air conditioning. So the Indians would send up smoke signals to communicate. What does Fester do when he wants to communicate with the other side of the river? This is what they're calling chicken corners or chicken corner as in Cornish hymns. <laughs> 